What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire a Honeywell T5 thermostat. So I've already pulled the terminal block from the back of the thermostat. And now I'm going to show you what these terminals mean. So R and RC is going to be your power from your HVAC system to your thermostat. So RC is going to be your terminal for your 24 volt cooling power supply. And R is going to be your terminal for the 24 volt heating power supply. And with the blue jumper up, both functions will be combined. C is going to be your common, and that allows your thermostat to be powered even if your thermostat doesn't have batteries. G is going to be your air handler fan. Y is yellow. That's going to be your compressor. LA, that's going to be your signal wire for your heat pump fault, which is rarely used. Most heat pumps don't even have that function. OB is going to be your reversing valve. That changes the direction of refrigerant flow. Some reversing valves are energized in the cooling mode while some are energized in the heating mode. It depends on what brand. Aux is going to be your auxiliary heat or your electric strip heating on your air handler. E is going to be for your emergency heat or your electric resistance heat, which is pretty much strip heat. The setting on your thermostat kicks on when the temperature is anywhere between 30 to 35 degrees Fahrenheit. That's when it's too cold outside for the air to be pulled in and heated normally. Your K terminal can be used to operate both the van and the compressor on a single wire. But you have to have a Honeywell module, and that module is THP9045. And our last one is W, and that's going to be your heating. So basically, your thermostat is just one big switching device. That's all its purpose is for. It uses your R, which is your 24 volts, and your other terminals to activate and run different components. So now, I'm marking my holes for my new drywall anchors. The red anchors are from the previous thermostat, and I'm going to leave them there since they'll be hidden by the new thermostat. Anchors and screws came with the new thermostat, so I'm using those. In this case, I'm using brown for my common. And on my thermostat, my OB, which is my reversing valve, is on the same terminal. So I'm using blue for that. The new thermostat takes three AA batteries. And it just snaps on. And now it's time to set up the new thermostat. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe.